Dave, we got a 2019 Equinox here. Look, the parking brake is stuck on. And uh, I'll tell you what, you can put your foot on the gas as much as you want and drop the hammer. It is not moving. So naturally, we got to go ahead and get that parking brake to release. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and disable it and just make those pistons retract so we can drive this thing in. Let me show you how to do it. And this should work on probably any car that has electronic parking brake if you're just trying to back it off so you can get the thing to move. Let me show you how to do it. Check this out. All right, guys. Oh, put this on manly mode. So get your big bad Milwaukee. Go ahead and look. You know, it's not moving anywhere right now. Well, for the time being. All right, check it out. Get that off. We got our connector right here for the for the parking brake. Go ahead, pop this off. We'll go ahead and we'll unplug this. All right, they got these retainers on here because they don't want you know hairy homeowner working on it and screwing it up. Let's pop this off. All right, guys, so, you know, we unplugged it, take our mirror, and you can see we've got two terminals right here. Boop. All right, so we've only got two terminals. And all this is is an electric motor. Most of you guys already know this, but it just pushes the piston out, and then it zip, pulls it back in. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna hot wire and apply power one way, and hopefully it, it comes out if it doesn't then we'll just you know reverse it and hook it up the other way and then it'll back out we'll be able to spin this we'll do the same on the other side drive it in uh so great opportunity to use our big bad v500 it's like a power probe but way cheaper check it out so we'll take these two ends just hook them up to the battery and then we'll hook up the rest of it so guys we'll take we've got the you know those big clamps on the end, positive and negative. We got those hooked up. We got this in position one. You don't need to do anything with this. This ground side, I ran it to the terminal on the left. This is really simple. No need to overcomplicate this. We've got the really chunky wires that just have a positive and negative on the end of them hooked up to the battery. Then we have this guy here. This one here, I've got going to one terminal on the back of the plug. The other terminal and the other lead, I'm gonna put it right to the tip of this so I can energize it. We don't want these two to be touching each other because that's you know power and ground coming together. Let's go over to, it's not touch screen, we can pretend it is. Let's go ahead and be like, mm, we're gonna component. So, boop, boop and boop. all right and and when it says over current like that don't worry about it just hit escape and we'll go down to this fuel injector test it allows you to put some more oomph to it all right hit okay and then we're just going to go ahead and hit Oh, starting to move. And we got movement now. Nice. All right, so guys, all we did was energize. You just put power and ground. Ground on one side, power on the other. Yeah. You don't have to use something like the V500, but works pretty cool. Uh, remember, I had to put it in fuel injector mode for component tests. It doesn't deliver enough oomph to really get it, you know, get it to go. Hey, look, if you don't have a power probe or the V500, that's okay. You don't need it. Look, you grab yourself, pow. They got these at Harbor Freight, man. Uh, we're just gonna put power and ground right to it. We'll go ahead and run both, uh, you know, right from the battery. Uh, and we'll hook it up right here to the uh, back of the brake caliper. And we'll try it one way, which doesn't back up. We'll try it the other way, we'll back it up, get ready to drive this thing in.
So we just got power and ground. Let's just see what we got here. All right, so what? Don't, don't. So that way is maxed out. We'll go the other way. There we go. Heard that thing. All right, that's it. All right, so don't, uh, don't plug, don't plug that connector back in. And for those that wanted to know, I was grounding the, as you're looking at the connector, I was grounding the one towards the back of the car. On the other side, I was grounding the uh, pin that was towards the front of the car. So anyways, now we can drive this thing in.